Hello my dear student, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. Dear student, I have just started my new series on error correction based on pronouns. At the end of this series, again I will start my new series on error correction based on nouns, prepositions, conjunction respectively. So kindly keep watching my videos regularly, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the notification bell icon for more such video. In this class, I will discuss the reasons behind errors if any error is found out. If you have anything to know or if you have any asking, you can easily clear your doubts by making comments in the comment box section. Here I am going to take my class. Can you keep your eyes on the board? In the exam, you will find four or five option. You need to tick the option. Here, I have not written the option. But once you understand the reason, ticking or choosing the right option is not a big factor. Or you can say selecting the right one will be very easy for all of you. Look through the sentence first. He is taller than me. Apparently, the sentence doesn't contain any mistake. But if you dig deeper, you will find. Here, after then, we have written me. But we should write I. Because it is functioning here as conjunction. So, after conjunction, you need to write some subjective form of the pronoun. He is taller than I am. It should be the right one. But whenever you are going to speak to someone, you can use he is taller than me. But in case of writing, you need to write he is taller than I am. Because it is functioning here as subject. Then is not a preposition here. Rather, it is a conjunction. Therefore, instead of me, it should be I. So, the mistake lies here. It should be I. Now, go next. This was shared between you and me. Be careful, this is the subject, auxiliary verb, main verb. Therefore, do not need to write any more subject. Whatever will be written should be in objective form. What is the objective form of you? You is the subject, you is the object. Again, what is the objective form of I? I is the subject, me is the objective form. I, me, mine, my. So, it is functioning here as subject, but we have written the, it is functioning here as subject, but we have written the subject. So, it is incorrect, it should be in the objective form. That means, between you and me. Now, go next, who do you think he met? Subject verb, again, we are going to say, here is the subject again. So, in both cases, subjects are common. Then, what is written after subject? Generally, verb. Thereafter, object. So, who cannot be a verb? Therefore, it is functioning here as object. If we ask what is the objective form of who, it should be whom. Who, whom, whose. Who, whom, whose. Who is the subjective form? Who is the objective form? Whose is the possessive form? Possessive means it is all about possessing something. So, it is functioning here. Who is functioning here as object? Therefore, instead of who, it should be whom. You need to understand the basic structure of pronoun. Now, go next. I avail the opportunity. Take it into account. Whenever you are going to use the verb avail, thereafter, you need to write some self word, and the self word should and must be related to the subject. In that case, self word functions as reflexive object. Because the reflection of the subject falls on the object. So, here self what is missing, rather it should be, you can say it should be written in this way myself off. You will find the option, you need to tick that option. Now, go next. I cannot call to my mind what happened. So, call to my mind refers to remembering. So, you, there is no need to write call to my mind. The overall phrase is call to mind. Therefore, you need to remove my here. 
it is fixed i call to mind no need to write call to my mind therefore it is the wrong one and look through the overall class in the first sentence the mistake lies in the application of the pronoun it should be in the subjective form but what is written is in the objective uh, form because they are functioning here as conjunction or linker in question number two it is also functioning here as object but we have written it, it in subjective form it should be in the objective form rather you can say i me my mind the same rule applies here that means you can say who who is functioning here as object who is who cannot be the object rather it should be whom in question number four whenever you are going to use the word or verb avail you need to put or write some self word and the self part should be related to the subject therefore it should be i avail myself because the self word of i is myself i myself he himself you yourself she herself they themselves we ourselves in this way now go next i cannot call to my mind what happened call to my mind is a overall phrase so there is no need to write my it it should be written in this way that is call to mind means remember so this is the uh, this is my class for the day so i have discussed all the errors based on pronouns in case you are unable to understand any part of this you are free to drop your queries without hesitation in the comment box section kindly keep waiting for my next class till then have a very good day